there's many things that can be said about the landscape of what South African football is like. Many might look back in the day and say, you know, um, Augusto Palacios played a huge role in introducing something very different to South African football in the youth that he introduced, not only in Sundowns, but at Pirates especially. They might look at Skrima Shabalala and said what he did at Sundowns in introducing the Shushan and Piano, what then happened there, geez, revolutionary. We could go on naming these coaches and the things and the impact that they've had in South African football. But I think when it comes down to it, when we look at who is a man that has had the most impact in South African football over at least the last two generations, if not just this generation, he sits across from me because his inspiration goes beyond the 90 minutes. What he's been able to do has done a lot more for South Africans than just football. Our conversations are always inspiring. I call him a big brother. He's in the building. Pizzo Musimane is with us. It's exactly 14 after the hour 6. Ladies and gentlemen, please assist me in welcoming the one, the only. He's in the country for only a little bit. Pizzo Musimane. Coach? Uh, thanks, Andile. Thanks for the invite. Uh, uh, evening to the Metro listeners. Uh, I'm humbled. It's been a while since you were home for this long, huh? Yeah, I'm always three days, five days. Uh, but this year I've been popping in a little bit f to to do my work f with uh, NetBank Cup. Mm, I saw a, that advert. <laughs> yeah, with, uh, ambassador. So I've been two days out, two days commercial, hectic out. So, but. It's good to be around again. I mean, it was nice to see you fool around and allow laughter at your own expense because it was very funny. Did you see me dancing with the Pansula dance? I don't think that was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best I could offer you. No, the Pansula is not cool. I know. That's the. In Kobori, I'm going to go to the Trumpies. Every time when I'm around, I. I I call them in my home, and uh, they gave uh, they always give me the best performance. Uh, when I'm Zimbabwean, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> well, coach, it's it's good to have you. And, Thank uh, you. This conversation is more a, a look forward more than a look back, you know. But I um, mean, we'll touch a little bit on everything. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking to uh, Ranga Chebabira, yeah. uh, the player from Marumo yesterday, the Bafana player. Yeah. You know, well, he, he hasn't made a Bafana yet, but he he's 30 years old at the moment. Uh, played in the in the confederation, scored seven goals in ten games. Yeah. Scored. Uh, 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 it was the second best South African here after Mayo in South Africa. Peter Shalil, of yeah. course, Mayo then yeah. him, and his name is Ranga Chibaviro. So most South Africans weren't aware that he's South African. Yeah, well, the 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 name and the same name will always uh, throw you out, uh, but um, yeah, he's the same as Kapinga Lesedi. Because you know, we, I mean, a lot of people ask questions of Kapinga as well. Yes, uh, Lesedi was born in South Africa. He speaks so to grow up here, like like you and me. But he's got the uh, 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 Malawian dad also. Hashim is another one actually that people weren't aware of. Uh, which Hashim? Hashim is just signed now. Um, Domingo. Uh, Domingo. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, good. People boy. weren't uh, aware that he's South African. Uh, is it? Because Hashim. But he Domingo. played overseas for some time. That's know? another thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Good player. Uh, yeah. What do, you, what do you make of his deal? He's yeah, just signed, of look, course. Uh, Kapinga was a good football player. I, when the vets issue of uh, selling, you know, when the, club, the clubs were sold, mm. whatever, the first person I grabbed, I just went to grab his co with the collar. He's Kaping, he's a uh, Hashim. Hashim because mm. he's a top player. So I convinced him to come to Mamelodi Sundowns. Because I know, and uh, he's got a big heart. What a player, a good football player. But you know, my middle Sundowns, the competition is stiff and all that. At Draja, yeah, big club. He has to compete with Widat. The best, you won't get the best out of him there. Mm. He will run and he's, he'll play Champions League. And uh, at Draja, you're expected to win. The, the, the Green Army, they fill the stadium. So it's good for him to, to go there. And by the way, we. We have him in our group of... Uh, With Alawada? Yes. You're going to be playing them? Yes, we're going to play them next month. The, I think 27th. Yeah, 27th. Yeah, I think we play them 27th next month. In the Arab Cup, I think it is, yeah? Yes, Arab Cup. So, yeah, good good group uh, uh, over there. Raja and... Um, who else in the team? The team from... Um, um, 
Kuwait and we have also I forget I'll tell you now Oh, as we go on. I mean, yeah. Coach, I'm jumping in and we're now in our waters already. I haven't even said congratulations on the new gig. You know, um, th th there was big speculations and big question marks on what's going to be happening with Beatles since leaving. But congratulations on landing the new one. I think the news came Sunday evening. Yeah, well, we've been working on it uh, since I've been on holiday. Mm. Uh, uh, at least I got a chance to go on holiday for the last two years. I haven't been on holiday. So I got a chance now and... Um, was we had a good holiday with my family, but uh, you know when you're on holiday and uh, there's also discussions while you're on holiday. It's not really a good holiday, but uh, but you can't ask for more. Yeah, that's good. Why Alawada? What is it about them that uh, made sense to you? Yeah, first I wanted to come back to the Premier League. You know, I was in the first division, and uh, and uh, you know very well what was the mandate to bring that big team back which was successfully done and and thanks God we also managed to put the chair on top of the cake by winning the league but uh, it was tough in the first division so I said I want to do Premier League again. Are you, are you sad you don't get to enjoy the work that you did you know in the first division now that the team is in the Premier League especially with what's happening in that Premier League? Yeah now my team is a uh, is it's a transformed team. It's yeah. <laughs> my team has got billions now of dollars. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, they can buy any player in the world. Anyone. As know, we see, anyone. you know, all the players that have yeah, flocked to the league. They'll buy a player from Real Madrid. But coach, they're doing so without you there. Surely a part of you says, Esh, I would have loved to be a part of all of that. Yeah, but, you know, Andile is, uh, I don't have a lot of time to coach anymore. So I, 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 I don't coach for 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 drama. I coach to for my legacy. I coach to 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 make myself happy. Um, you know, it, it doesn't mean when you have a team that's owned by billionaires, it means it's it's okay or it's going to be good. I I look after myself first. I'm, I'm number one, and um, when we are in between deals and in between contracts. Um, and I was in. I've been. I've been in the Middle East. I was in Cairo, in Egypt. And then I went to Saudi, and I want to enjoy myself. I want to be in Emirates. I want to do. I want to do that. And maybe my next move is Qatar. I. 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 I, I don't coach for for money. I don't coach. I. I. I take the job that I would love to do. Uh, Al Wakta hasn't won the league for since twenty. I think twenty. 13 or 13, 20. yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's been long. So they've been coming third, fourth, and all that. So uh, I, I think it's a nice project. I want to win the league in No, the but coach, man, I mean, you would have been playing against Ronaldo. You would have been playing against... Uh, I'll have them again in the Arab Cup. They're there. Benzema, Golo Kante is now They're signing. there in the Arab Cup. I'll meet them. From the Emirates, of course, because the Arab Cup encompasses all those teams. Yes, yes, they are there. We have a team in, uh, in um, one from, uh, I think one is from Egypt, if I'm not mistaken, Egypt or, or Saudi, in our group. So, and we are in Saudi again. So, that glam and fantasy is always there. You don't follow it. it we just follow the game. I want to talk to you about what's happening in Saudi Arabia, Coach, because you've been so close to it and you, yeah. you are very close to all of that. Let's take a very quick break. When we come back, um, we'll continue our conversation with Peter Musimani. My guest today is Coach Peter Musimani. Uh, coach, how do you say this? Alwada? Alawad? How do you Al say that? Alwada. Al the yeah. new coach of Alwada, which plays its uh, football in the Emirates. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, that seems to be your strip now. You know, you've been there for so long. I wonder, Coach, when you watch what's happening there, the whole world is talking about it right now. You know, it's, 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 it's the billion pound, billion dollar league where they're buying the best players, where they want uh, the coaches as well. They're talking about some, you know, Mourinho has been one of those that have been spoken about to, to, to move there. It reminds me of the USA in the early 90s when they wanted football there and they got the Pelés, they got the, the Kaisers, Cruyff, um, uh, etc. They got all the best people in the world at the moment, at the time, to try and grow that league. It reminds me of China. Um, a couple of years ago when they went and got the best players to try and grow that league and both failed in doing that. Russia at some point, you know, yeah. tried to do something very similar. When you see what's happening in, 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 in the Arab right now, do you think that's the right way to go about it? 
Well, they have their own reasons why they go like they want to have the best league uh, uh, that ev- that people must speak about in in the world, uh, and that's the only way you did. La Liga did that. La Liga brought Ronaldo, uh, and La Liga was big. You know, they brought the Thierry Henrys that era also. La Liga did the sa- exactly the same thing, and and we started watching La Liga. Who was watching La, La Liga before? Uh, Ronaldo and uh, Messi and nobody was watching La Liga because we o- we always watch the English Premier League and um, look as you say you got your facts right you, China did that and also they are bidding for the World Cup uh, uh, I think 2027 mm. Messi is the ambassador for the World Cup Ronaldo is the ambassador for the World Cup and they brought Ronaldo so they want to make the team the most glamorous league that's that's the vision is the football worthy of that though because what real Madrid, or not real madrid but what the spanish league did is it backed it up in football it was quality football it was quality young players it was all around a good product yeah la liga had the, the best development programs nobody no one can argue about that and um i think uh saudi will follow suit they they, they look at qatar Qatar did that before they host the World Cup. They brought everybody to Qatar. They, you remember, they brought uh, the Ghanaian. They brought him from 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 English Premier League. The stri- Ajam- D- G- Samoa Young. Yes, they brought they brought them there in Qatar, and they still have the big names in Qatar. They brought uh, 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 the coach of Real Madrid of Barcelona now. They they brought them. So, mm. is can you afford it? And uh, you know, they they also pay. This big stars money that they've never earned. I don't think Ronaldo has earned. No one's ever earned money, that sort of the money, money in the world in his whole career. The yeah. one he's gonna get now. Uh, how old is he? Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. But uh, there you are, Benzema, top scorer, and they're going Angelo Kante. Ziyech is the latest one now. But I wonder, coach, you you speak about this. I want Mourinho. I think my team wants Mourinho. The team that you coached. Yes. They A lot. They can have. Uh, Yes. They want they want Mourinho. Yes, they want it. The media says that because and, you, and he was on on also on 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 the news speaking that uh, he's he's taking the flight. And to, I keep saying, Jeddah. and I keep asking this coach, and I, and I know you you answered it in the way that you did, but why not, Coach Pito? Is it because Coach Pito is not a name that is synonymous in world football to a Mourinho? Because why not have a Coach Pito still continue with that team? Well, my president asked him uh, about that. And he says, uh, my ex-president, because he's no longer the president. Yeah. Because the, these big guns came in and and they removed everybody. And um, he said that um, because he knew about the transformation, he's the one who's been also going around to sign players, they say, and uh, they picture him at the airports, whatever, you know. But anyway, he said, um, we are very, very ambitious and we are making this league the big league. So I guess we should pave way for the Mourinho's and how nice it is to pave a way for Mourinho. I mean, for me, I take it as a compliment, you know. Imagine you pave way for anybody. We speak about money being big for the likes of Ronaldo and everybody that's been there. Is it big for Pito Musimane as well? Has Pito gotten Arab money that is so good that he's maybe perhaps even out of South African teams, leagues, and the amount of money that is being... Cause, and I asked this coach because money has been the talk of, of, of the leagues there. I remember even you mentioned it with, uh, with Chilani Serrero. You said, I mean, Tulane must stay there in that league because it's such good money there. Yes, it's good for him. And he stayed for long, and uh, I'm proud of him that he, he stayed for that long. And uh, he needs the money for his family. You know, we, we don't want players who, who retire, and then the next thing we have them on media that they don't ha- they hardly have a house. The house was mm-hmm. repossessed. Uh, we need to look at it di- differently also. It's, this is a business. It's, and, and when Tulane is in the right space, there's Africans there, the Abu Bakr and them. It's 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 the space. So that's why I always said that sometimes uh, back at home, uh, sometimes the guys don't know what's happening in the world, you know. And and all you have to do is to ask. Can I assume then? This is me asking. Can I assume then 
that uh, that same thing that you were saying about everybody else is for you as well? The amount of money you're getting there is just uh, look, not realistic to, look, to what we know? Look, uh, Andile, you, you are where you are now. If I say, <coughs> if I say to you, Andile, come back to, come and do community radio station, leave Metro FM, what would you say? I mean, look at the radio now. We have cameras here. It's the first time... I, uh, yeah, I've been here. There was no, no I hear you. <laughs> so you won't go to c- community radio station, would you? You have bills to pay, am I right? And, no, and you've earned your stripes. True. And look at how this show has gone. Who else have ever thought that uh, uh, th- this show is a big show? A- everybody's important and everybody is replaceable. So uh, you don't want to go to community radio station. So uh, I've also earned my stripes and uh, I've. I've I've worked hard for where I am, and uh, uh, it's not favors. I, I, I've been to four World Cups, and it's, it's not funny. I've won the Champions League three times. I've won to the final of the Champions League four times. So the CV is okay to be in that space, and and we have all the Europeans there, and you don't go in there without a pro license and all mm-hmm. that. And and you know how tough it is. I'm the first sub-Saharan to be in the Middle East. I'm not talking about Gulf, Middle East, even Egypt. Uh, it's not very easy to get there. Y- wow. You work hard. Yeah. No, I agree with you, Coach. Coach, there's been an ongoing conversation in South Africa about um, coaching teams. And wherever you go, you go with your coaching team. Yes, I've got. You know, there's a coaching coach Nabi who you well, you know well. Yes, you know who's been linked to Kaza Chiefs, and it's a matter of is he coming with his team? No, he doesn't want to come with his team. Is what is coaching now like? Is is it even possible to ask for you without your team? No, you can't. Uh, how 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 do I do that? The level at which we are, you 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 have a team, and yeah. and and the co- and the teams when they recruit you, they don't ask you; they know. It's a package, so so you. I have a team uh, that comes over there. So we've increased the team now. We brought a goalkeeper coach um, that was uh, with me in uh, in Alakli, he's Saudi. So I've taken him in for many reasons. He speaks English well, and he speaks Arabic, and he also will help me. And he knows my philosophy. He knows how I play. And he knows the the philosophy of the team. He plays from a play from behind, a build from behind, like many teams now in South Africa are doing that. And I want him to coach the goalkeeper because it's important. For f- that's the start of the play, from the back. Yeah. And that's why uh, that's why the best goalkeepers are very expensive. How much did Man City buy the goalkeeper? How much Bayern has got the best goalkeeper? Liverpool has got a top goalkeeper. Manchester City, United has got a top, top goalkeeper. Uh, the big clubs have got uh, Barca, Real Madrid. So goalkeepers are important. So, so it's unrealistic to think that you can get a coach in this modern day football, a top coach, to come alone or to come with one person. They no, need their team. No, that's not at the highest level. I mean, we have cameras now on radio. You know, you can have one microphone and you can, I mean... These things have evolved with us so from iPhone 1 to 13 now, or 14 yeah. or what. So life has changed. Look at the dashboard of your car. It's no longer the same. You have apps now on the phone. We used to have Nokia and Ericsson. There was never even SMS. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you remember? Uh, no, Rwad Bakhal. Speaking of Coach Nabi, you know him. Yes, I know him well. What do you make of him? Good guy, good... Um, Good coach. Um, um, I think he's Moroccan, if I'm not mistaken, or Tunisian, somewhere there. Tunisian, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I met him at younger. Yeah, but we meet them all the time in Champions League. We meet them, but the proper way of uh, the official way and proper way, I met him at younger when the president of younger, uh, younger is a big team. Eh? Mm-hmm. When the president of younger invited me for younger day, uh, they call it one lunch day. Unbelievable! I've I've never seen something like that. Yeah, I thought I've seen big crowds in Alakli, uh, Cairo, whatever. Sixty thousand people on one lunch day, which is the younger day. The three days after is Simba Day, full stadium, sixty thousand. Mm. Look at the celebrations, the trophy parade of younger. It's unbelievable. That's where I think some of our coaches in South Africa 
should get the get the feeling get the bl get the rush get goosebumps uh, you know that's where you must be you that's when you are a coach you have to go there you got to feel the stress go to alakhli 60000 it's it's not funny when you are landing with that is 60 when you land in rajar casablanca 60 you go to tunis esperance look you have to do that i think as a football coach that is very important yes home is where they hone our skills that's where they they make us better they sharpen our our uh, our shots sorts and thanks to south african football for for giving me that and my manager sundowns gave me the big opportunity to do that but uh, i also said i want to take this team back into international football sundowns was seven years or six years out of international football Alakhli hasn't won the league the champions league for six seven years we brought Alakhli back to international football we brought back Alakhli uh, uh, Jeddah now in Sudan uh, in Saudi it's the top f one of the top four teams in Saudi in fact one of the top sort of teams in in the Middle East mm. so same as al Wahda, so we move so you'd put Nabi at that level of coaching yeah good guy good coach um, he done well won double troubles not many people have won double yeah. troubles ne? I think I got twice, got it twice, but in different years. He got it in two years in a row. You understand South African football, and you understand a Kaiser Chiefs. Do you see a fit there? Depends. It's African foot, South African football is not, it's not Tanzanian football. Tanzanian football, to be honest, I must tell you that these three teams is younger Simba and uh, and Azam. And and the rest. Mm. I'm not disrespecting. No, 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 hundred percent. I get this. It's a top three. Yeah, yeah, it's like Ajax in 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 in, in, in Netherlands. Uh, yeah, in Netherlands, you know, it's uh, uh, Feyenoord uh, and uh, Ajax and the rest. You know, so it it is a fact. So he knows the stress. He knows the pressure to deliver. He knows that kind of stress. So he will handle the pressure and the stress well, and. And he has proved that he's good. He, he went. He took younger to the finals of Confederation Cup. And and that's the that's the level. So I I hope he can do it. I'm not sure because I don't really know the quality of the players of Kaiser Chiefs. I don't really know because I can't judge because I, I I'm not watching a lot. No, for sure. Yeah. No, for sure. It's exactly 6.38. We're having conversations with uh, Coach Peter, but perhaps just focus now on where you're going, Coach. I mean, as soon as we heard that you're going there, all of us got on <clears throat> our different platforms to take a look at this team. One of the things that I found is that Root Kroll was once upon a time at the team as yeah. a coach. Yeah, in that space, you'll always have a, a, a big-name coach. Mm. If you go to, to Alakli, Saudi, where I was, there was Tele Santana, there was... Uh, Goss, if you go to Alakli, Egypt, where I was, well, there, there were big coaches that we all know. Martin yeah. Yol from Holland. We came after those those guys. Uh, it's, it's another space. They but I was worried, coach. I was a little bit worried. About what? About the turnaround in coaches that they've had. If you look at the last six years, and you look at how many coaches they've had in six years. Middle East is, is, Middle East is the level. I... I, Alakhli was ni was 1904 established 19 so Alakhli remember coach to Alakhli which one of Egypt Alakhli Egypt yes 1904 I was the second longest coach in the history in the history of Alakhli yeah. so what does that mean so it doesn't it means that not many people stayed in Alakhli you got to win the league you got to win the Champions League and you got to get the bronze medal in the World Cup those three things. If you don't have those three things, there's opportunity that you'll be replaced. And we all know our our fate and everything. I knew that at the Lachli uh, Jeddah in Saudi, I have to win the league. I have to get the team promoted. That's it. But where am I? I'm no longer there. So it's not also if you have won, you have done well. It's it's the culture, it's the space. If if. Uh, Mourinho raises his hand. It's a bigger profile, uh, well-known coach. Uh, you will have to move. It's it's not personal. We understand the space, you know. So you must do your job so that we bow out in pride and say, and they will remember you. And look at Alakhli Saudi uh, supporters when I left. You know they 
they humbly appreciate it. They said, uh, without you, you would not have these billions coming in when they bought the car. No one bought it, buys a club that is in the first division. Yeah. So, so you feel good credit to to what you've done. So you put your footprint in 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 Saudi. You put your footprint in in Egypt, and uh, we move. So it's trusting yourself, coach. Because I look at that, I'm like twelve coaches since 2017. I'm like that's six years. That's almost two coaches a year that they've gone through. Now Beatles going there. So you saying it doesn't matter what's happened here. I'm coming and I trust me and I believe in me. Before I went to Alakli Cairo, for the last six years, I think they had maybe more than twelve coaches. So same in Alakli uh, 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 Saudi. Saudi. Mm. So what's the difference in Alakli in Al Wahda? We are live, we are in that space. It's a, it's a tough, tough, tough space. It's it's the, your contract doesn't guarantee you a job. Winning a league or a title doesn't guarantee you your job next time. They do what they want because they believe this is good for the team. We're building the team to this level. They moved Abu Bakr out of Al Nasser, scoring mm. goals because Ronaldo is coming. True. Abu Bakr scoring all the time in Al Nasser, top scorer. He was the leading goal scorer, yeah. Yeah, but uh, Ronaldo is coming. Now Benzema is coming. Uh, I think uh, the Brazilian player will move. Uh, uh, in fact, there's a Moroccan guy who's been scoring goals. Oh, what a good guy. I forgot the name. He's, he's top scorer of um, the team of Benzema, my neighbors. We're mm. in the same city. Um, um, Itihad. Benzema is coming. The full stadium of 60,000 welcome Benzema. Coming to see him. What's going to yeah. happen to that guy? He's a top scorer in that club. And they won the league. Somebody must move. Hmm. There's Benzema coming. Same as the coaches. Jose is coming. You have, you move. <laughs> <laughs> it's reality. And then I looked at, at the composition of the squad as well. And I guess when you play in a money league like that, coach, there's yeah. a lot of Brazilian players um, th th that, uh, if, even in your team, Alawakta, there's some Brazilian players there, but in the league, it seems South Americans are favored in, the, in, in, in those parts. <laughs> and then big names. I played for Al Saad, one of the, ba the big teams in, in Qatar. Ronaldo came, Romario came, I moved when I was playing. The Brazilian is Romario, Romario yeah. coming. I mean, really? <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say? So, it's, it's, you don't even take it personal. You know, you look after many things. You look after what's important. And, uh, and, and, and you look at the business and it's a deal and you move. And somebody says, okay, I think I like this guy. He's been winning trophies. So that's what Al Wahda said. He says, we've been not winning trophies. So we needed somebody who has got that background. Is that the mandate, coach? You need to win us trophies. What is, what is the conversation? No, what is no, the want from no, you? There's no mandate. You know. You know. There's never a mandate from me in Al-Akhli Saudi or in Al-Akhli Egypt. Uh, Egypt on, written on paper. No, because the paper doesn't mean nothing. A contract contract is, is, is always good when we when we divorce, when you part ways and we look at the, the fine print. <laughs> but what do you owe me now? Yeah, that you know, ways. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when the contract happens but doesn't guarantee your job. <laughs> Whether you have a, a, a one more year or what, I it doesn't matter. No, it's not Europe. It's not Africa. It's it's Middle East. It's, it's Gulf. It's but do you think, Peter, you've done so well at Egypt, and we thought this is possibly now the door to the dream. The dream being Europe. You know, then that didn't quite uh, happen. You moved on to Saudi, and you did the impossible there. And now you don't even put CVs out at all. You know, you, you get called and you get asked for. You don't go looking for a job because you're a sought-after coach, which is the same, I can imagine, yeah, for, sure. for the top coaches. Well, your CV speaks. Your job speaks. Are we getting closer to Europe, do you think? Surely by now, Look, they must know your name. They, no, they know. They know. I mean, I was shocked by Thomas Tuchel coming to me in the World Cup when we were receiving the medals. They were receiving the medals. They won the uh, they were number one team in the world. We, yeah. we came third, yeah. and he came to me, spoke to me, called my name, and he says, "So, oh, South African, African legend. We all know about you. So, what does that mean? You know, we were all running for a 
for a, for a, for an award of manager of the year. We were all in one group. We were there. Mm. I think top fift- 15 coaches. When I won three, when I won the treble here, and I went to Alakhli in the same 21, 2021, 2022, and I won the Champions League there, and I won the cup. So five trophies in in a space of uh, 14 months, but but you don't get the award. He got it. It's it's, it's uh, they always justify it. it's the European Champions League. That's a Africa Champions League. Uh, they, there's always Europe is always uh, get. How many teams qualify in Europe for the World Cup? How many teams African teams qualify for the World Cup? It's a fact. How, how, if I'm the first sub-Saharan count uh, coach in history to go to North Africa, I'm not telling you about anything North Africa. I'm talking about Tunis, without uh, 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 Morocco, Algeria, and Egypt, and then you become the first in Saudi, and you become the first in UAE. So, so it's always the, you 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 go slowly up and. And you have to be patient, you know. Hopefully, one technical director in Europe will say, "I want this coach," or hopefully, one one owner of the team will say, "I want this coach." You must know that when I'm in Alakhli, uh, the owners of um, um, what is this team? Uh, I'll tell you the name in the Premier League in in England are the Egyptians. The Suarez and them, they know about me. I'm a coach in Egypt. There's Egyptians. They know. And probably one day you'll get the chance. The owners of the Newcastle are the Saudis. They know about me. Uh, the owners of uh, uh, Emirates are Manchester City. And and the owners of Qataris are PSG. You know? So they know. But uh, it's not that they don't know you. They know you. But uh, sometimes is is uh, is it? I don't know. I think they 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 also like the the vibe, the name and the vibe. You know, you know mm. what I'm trying to say. And you gotta uh, be a big name. You gotta go into the English Premier League and make it. But but you, you need a chance. Yeah, but you don't even go to the Belgian league. Excuse me. You know, you want to tell me that you can't run a BBC Radio Sports? Easy with close eyes. I mean, I'm in those shows. They always interview me. I speak to those guys. I said, I think Andy Lee can can get a, a gig here. ESPN, uh, uh, um, Bean Sports. I'm th- I'm always there with these guys, with these uh, talk shows. New New York Post, the, the one of the biggest uh, uh, journals in, in in the world. In, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, New York Times. New York Times. Yeah. They speak to me all the time. ESPN, BBC, uh, CNN. So why can't you make it? I like that attitude, Coach. Coach, I want to go into the big thing that you're doing here in South Africa because you are leaving a legacy here in everything that you're doing. But before that, I want to close one chapter so that whenever there's a coaching opportunity that opens in South Africa, we stop calling your name. Pito Musimane, coaching in South Africa with everything that Pito comes with. The, the the amount of money, his technical team, as vast as it is, his experience and all of that, is it still possible that a Peter Musimani will be coaching a team in South Africa in the near future? But why not? You never say never. Uh, this is this is this is a business. If 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 you are Lono Pirates or Kaiser Chiefs or Mami Lori Sundowns, you have a brand that you have built. You wanna sponsor Kaiser Chiefs, are you gonna come with uh, small money? There's a brand. It's been built, that brand. Vodacom knows you want to go to Kansas Chiefs. You must be serious on on, on, on what you do. Same as Orlando Pirates, same as Mami Lourdes Santos. These are big brands, okay? Because they have made sure that their brand is strong and is credible and there's a, more, a lo- amount of work that has been done behind the brands. You want Pep Guardiola, you have to match the level of that. He has his own team. You want Jose Mourinho. Y- Financially, can those three afford a Pizza Musimane and his team and everything he comes with? Which ones? I mean, we're talking about the three teams in South Africa. Can they afford well, a Of pizza? course. I mean, I mean, 
we have a billionaire or uh, uh, at Mami Rizan, I said, billionaire in US dollars. He has afforded me like nothing. I mean, uh, nothing. <laughs> so, so why can't uh, they afford me? They can. It's just the mentality that uh, you, can the community radio afford you, uh, Andili? No. But if they want but to I be mean, the best co community radio station. Yeah, I mean, she's the left to dig hard. Uh, it's the same. It's, we, are, we are in business. If you want to I come with Timmy and Malcolm. You want <laughs> these cameras also. You know, you know, you've got five people, six people yeah, working with my show. six for a team. Yeah. You used to run it alone in the community <laughs> radio station. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's the way it is. It's it's, it's the way it is. And, and I asked and this those, coach and those big clubs in South Africa are huge clubs. Mm. You, you're not gonna go and, and, and sponsor those teams when you don't know your story. You must know That's your true. story. And I asked this because of course there's always been a link between yourself and Kaiser Chiefs. Before you even uh, were still at Sundowns, there was that link to say you'd had a meeting, you'd at least spoken to them. Now again, that raised its head. And the question was, is this even a possibility? But I hear you saying it is. Yes. Uh, I I coach a project. I like a project. So you can say, when we last did, did they win this, this trophy or that trophy? Have they won? The Kev Champions League is a project. So what happened then, Coach? What, what went wrong with the conversations with Chiefs? No, no South African team has spoken to me for the last three years. Really? No, no, no. South Not African. even a hey, how are you? Let's no, have lunch. no, the hey, how are you? They're there, and we can have coffee. I I visit the chairman of Orlando Pirates all the time. Oh, he's he's very important for me. He gave me his chairman's award twice. Yeah. No one has ever given me that, and I go and have tea and I have coffee. You know, in Naturena, I, I go there. I even take my team to go train in Naturena. I remember, yeah. Yes. So I'm always there. You know what I'm trying to but say? But no, hey, come coach here. No, but you don't say, hey, come coach. No, you I mean, I'm talking about the conversation. No, Obviously you formal you, to say you, we'd, you, we'd like If to. you want the coach, you will get the coach. The coach is available. But no, nobody's asked. Well, I, I speak to my, 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 my office. My office is nobody has spoken to us. Nobody has given us a... a a deal on the table to say, okay, here's a deal at least. So, so it's unfortunate that, uh, what should I do now? Apply? <laughs> <laughs> it's 6.52 in the Mighty Metro <laughs> FM. It can never be a conversation long enough with Pizza here, but Pizza, the one thing that you're doing that is amazing, and you know, I get a lot of people who say, Auntie, they're my kids, Auntie, they're my kids. What do I do? They're so talented. I don't trust people that come here. Once you've put a brand next to it and you can say to someone, hey, here, and it's a brand they know and a name they trust, it makes life easy. Yeah. And, I mean, when it started, I remember thinking, hmm, how's this going to work? What is it? For those that make those calls all the time, for those that have kids that they think are talented or even those that want their kids just to be um, active. Yes. Uh, and, and, you know, you never know where, where the talent could come from. Yes. Talk to me about what you've done with the Peter Musumani Schools. Look, I've been, I've coached Benny McCarthy, of course, Stephen Pinar, Spusi Zuma, Non Vete. Uh, uh, let's, let's mention them. The, the, the guys who've played at the highest level ever mm. in South Africa. I've been there. I've been the coach at, at Safa. Thanks, Safa, for the, thanks for the opportunity to suffer. And I always, when we were playing, when we were preparing for the World Cup, we played Spain, Germany, Italy. Just mention them. We played all those things. And I always said, we have a good team. And this, this is the best talent we had. No one was left out. Don't listen to anybody. We get the best ever we ever had for the World Cup. And I always say, but why we don't have that top, top quality that we can put it in PSG, Man United, 21, 22 players, put them at the Champions League, like Ghana, like uh, Ka uh, Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire. That's mm. the way it is. Nigeria, I mean, the boy at Napoli scores amazing goals. The guys at the boy at Villarreal on the right is unbelievable for the Super Eagles. What a team, you know? So so I always say that why we don't have top talent like that in, in this country? And I knew, and I also looked at myself, we don't have the proper balance in terms of technique, mentality, uh, culture, tactics and and development and we we did not train them very well i look at myself 
we are the 55 percent 60 percent pass rate at school why because grade r grade one grade two grade three academic science now mm. you go like that okay even you do mathematics uh, 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 grade 10 grade 11 grade 12 you can't pass the grade 12 when you didn't do well in grade 11, 11 and 10 no yep. you, you you lost factorization principles in mathematics so so you need to come up like that so that you can do that. Otherwise, you'll, you'll, you'll end up in step three and then you get yeah. five out of ten you you, the and you'll pass. Yeah. Okay? So that is exactly what we have with South African players. But why? It's because the, 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 uh, the, what, the curriculum is not proper. Mm -hmm. So the building phases. If, if you are a player, football player, you are playing, you are 12 years old, you are 13 years old, that, and that's a big phase, eh? 13 to 15 is the biggest phase because now I've ended up going back to study youth football. Mm. 13 to 15 is, is the most crucial, it's called the golden phase, it's the most crucial phase mm. that if you don't do well in that phase, if you miss these things, you will always be a 55% pass and you go, and you'll end up playing Premier League. And we end up even playing, we played in Europe, but uh, you know, like my daughter scores. Meant the short <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. So, the curriculum of grade R is maybe shapes and sizes, colors. But we, in football in South Africa, we take the curriculum of grade four, we give it to grade one. Hmm. You haven't seen that the, the children playing in a big pitch and everybody goes that way. They all follow the ball, yeah. Yeah, yeah but grouping. Uh, but the coach, coach, what are you doing? They have a size, size, size. Big size five, five, yeah, size five ball. It's up to the knees of a six year old. How is he gonna kick it? He touches the ball two times, the ball goes there in 15 minutes. He touched the ball two times. How do you develop technique? You need to do every time. You want to pass mathematics, you must do the solutions, you must do the, 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 the things all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we miss that. So, where do we get the players from? From the school. If you are playing football in a township, Guamashu, wherever you come from, in a club, you are 13 years old, how many training sessions do you have? <laughs> Maybe not even one training session. So yeah. You understand now, we, you see how, what steps you have missed? Mm. So what do I do? I know that and I've seen. I've been around, I've played and I've coached. So I said the best thing is to give these boys time to play, let's go to the schools. They are all there at the schools. And they are every day at the schools. So I put coaches in the schools, CAF D license, CAF uh, SAFA coaches. I put them there and I also give them my methodology of, guys, the boy must master the ball, must, must one touch, mm. must bring it down from the top. Mm. You know, about age, good, hey, but you pass, but hey, one pass, like a ngale, We see that in Premier League. And um, then the chance comes and then he shoots up and the ball is going to rose it. Because we did not teach them the right technique at an early, early, early age. So I said at schools, we have them. All the children are at school. And we don't even say the talented children like clubs, academies. All the children have a chance to play. Hmm. We don't care if you can run well or you don't run well. Have a chance to play. And there's late developers. And also this is a big game, football. So give the child a chance. What are you working on now? You are working on football. Mm. You're producing football. So football is vast. You want to be an architect, make a stadium. You want to be in marketing, speak to Vodacom for the yeah. team. So you want to be a doctor, medical, there's football. Any phase of anything, football covers everything. So those children, they will go into football. We're developing football, by the way. Football is not all about wow. scoring goals. So that's why I'm in the schools. And thanks, the Premier supports me. I saw here. The MEC of Education allows me to go inside. I was with the Minister of Sport. Now you saw the tweet. Mm. Uh, they want to, they ask me about what is this, what you're doing, and how, how can we help? How can you come into the program to help the academic side with the football side? Healthy, healthy body, healthy mind. Yeah? Top three African players in Africa right now for you. Right now? Yeah. Oh, you're putting me on the spot. Right now, the boy who is playing for Napoli. Well, players playing in Africa. In Africa? Yeah. Africans in Africa. Shalulile, one is, is stands out. Pesitao, 
stands out and um, let me see with that uh, the boy at, um, at Esperance uh, he wears jersey number five um, I forgot the name just check Esperance a boy in the midfield who wears jersey number five he gave me the jersey by the way no tempers one eh? hey he's there temper mshishi the challenge is mshishi is that the age is not really on his side true but oh just watch tempers one I, you know how I, I speak about him I, I went to fetch him at black black uh, black aces when I came to Sundowns I said no this must come back not this quality he must come to come and play and we won the Champions League together memories you know he I, I always say he skates and he dances so when he plays football and we, without Sirino and Musishi we would never play are we expecting Peter to have rumors again about wanting players from South Africa to join him uh, you know Andy Lane, you must be very careful you know back home I want peace man I've had a lot of a lot of unhappiness a lot of issues and I don't want that anymore you know I I want to stay away you know I'm happy with to speak to 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 go to Kaiser Chiefs and the, the chairman of Kaiser Chiefs gave me his jersey. Who can you believe that I got a jersey from the chairman of Kaiser Chiefs? Hmm. I'm down. Who do you think you are? You know, he gave me a jersey, his jersey, and I always have tea and coffee with Chairman Koza. You know what I'm trying to say? I avoid problems, I avoid things, and I just move away. And there's always talks and gossip on the sides. No, so funny player like Abba, no, so funny. I don't do that. I, I, I don't want. Look, to, for me, I know my space. I know. I go to South America, where I got Gaston and all them. I go there. I'll get. I'll got this player. I, I go across in Nigeria. I go to Gambia. I'll get the players, the same quality we have in South Africa, and avoid trouble. Peter Musimani, ladies and gentlemen, an hour is just never going to be enough. Uh, Faith, I owe you. I'm not sure if it's lunch, but I'll pay you back in. In, in, in minutes. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's four after the hour seven. And of course, the entire team represented here today by Lele Musimane. Because this thing, uh, somebody once said something about family business. Well, it truly is. Seeing the Musimane kids also be impacted and impact through their father's career has been a beautiful journey to watch. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're going to learn anything from today, learn this from Coach Musimane. Be hard to ignore. We out.